In this video I will show you how we can use uh, Dolphin 3D uh, Cam to produce this part and machine it. Uh, so we'll use the basic um, uh, solids constructions. So I'll start a new file. Okay, so the way that we create that would be to go into solids and define some cubes. So it creates a cube on the screen and we just need to type in the, uh, the values for that. So the width in this case is 2.75, this is in inches, the height is 3.5 and the depth is minus 0.5 so that the Z is the topmost part of the uh, uh, plate. So that's the uh, far, uh, slab that we've created. Uh, we'll just change the position of it such so that the XY datum is uh, halfway along that bottom edge there. So if I just uh, go minus 1.375, okay, so that's just moved the, uh, the datum or the model such that the datum point is the uh, in the middle across X and the bottom part in Y. So now we'll just create some, uh, some other cutouts. So we we'll create some cubes. So the width of this uh, cutout is 0.72, the height is 1.35, the height is 1.35, and the depth is 0.25. So that's created the cube there, we just need to go its position. So if I change the position there to minus 0.36, which is half of the, uh, the width. Okay, so we've got that. And then we just need to move that up off the bottom, point one. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, so we can now do uh, a Boolean operation, which is a cut. So from the outside cube, we cut one from another. Okay, so now we can create another cube. The width is point six. The height is 1 inch and the depth is 0.25. So that's created the cube. Now we need to position it. So we'll move the y axis to 1.45, the x to minus 0.3. Oops, that's not right. I want the position to be minus 0.3. Okay, so let's put that in the right position. So we highlight the results of the previous cut operation and the cuboid and cut one from another. Okay, so we've got that. So if I now just change my view, we can see the part there. Now I'm going to put in the, uh, the ob rounds uh, for the cut edge. So the way that we do that is we go into geometry and go to ob rounds and we'll set the radius and then the center positions of the two uh, uh, radii. So the first one is minus 0.36 and in Y that will be 0.163. So we add a point to the drawing and then the next point is 0.36 which is the opposite corner Okay, so that's done that ob round. <coughs> now, once we've got that, that's come through as a sketch. So we just need to extrude that sketch. And we'll make it minus, because we're going into the job, and the depth is 0.25. So that's done that. So now we've got the result of the previous cut operation and the extruded solid and we cut one out from another and we can do another ob round minus 0.36 in x and the y dimension I'm just reading these off the uh, uh, drawing okay so that's that So we've now got another uh, 
sketch there which we can extrude again minus 0.25 so that creates uh, a solid and now we can use the boolean operation cut one from another okay so we've got that uh, there uh, one thing I haven't done is I haven't put on the fillet rags on the outside of the shape so uh, if I just go around and just pick the edges hold down the control key and select those four outside edges put on the fillet set the radius okay so that's uh, uh, created uh, that shape if I wanted to I could add some corner fillets to the inside of that but uh, they'll be formed by the uh, um, the tool when we come to do the machining on that uh, so let's just save this away and we'll call it plate one okay so now that we've got the the basic geometry we can go on to machining so if I pick the face what I need to do is I need to create a sketch for the outside and the inside so that I can perform two different uh, operations on there uh, so if I make a sketch from that so that sketch has the inside and outside that would be useful if I wanted to do an area clearance if this uh, feature here was standing proud rather than being a cutout I could use that as an island and the system would just area clear between the outside and the inside shapes uh, but for what we want to do on here we want to split the sketch down so that we've got an outside sketch and an inside sketch uh, so on the outside sketch we right click and say a new profile operation so we'll be cutting on the outside of that a roll radius will give us the approach and then the tool that we're going to use um, let's just have uh, a ball uh, sorry an end mill uh, the clearance plane is a position above the job feed change plane is where it changes from rapid to feed rate the depth I want to cut to and if I need any step downs if I'm doing roughing cuts on there then I would choose the step down between each cut okay so that's uh, created uh, that uh, now one thing that uh, we do just need to do is the final depth of that is half an inch Okay, so that's uh, created the uh, the outside um, uh, machining. So now we'll do uh, a pocketing operation on the inside shape. So we right-click again, and we want a new pocketing operation. Uh, so this is the step over of the cutter. The starting position for the uh, machining can either be the centre of the part, or it can be the outside. So we'll start from the centre, we'll use a 10mm tool and we'll give it 40 thousandths as a, uh, uh, a finishing allowance which we can take off with a smaller tool. So in this case the final depth is 0.25 and again we may or may not need a step down in there. So that creates the roughing pass for that. Um, if we need to, we can uh, set up a smaller diameter tool to get into those corner rads there. So if we uh, define a new tool, that can be an end mill, and we make it the diameter which will fit inside there. Those rads are 0 0.063, so that uh, we need a torch, obviously, which is slightly smaller than that. Okay, so that's a pretty thin tool, but that'll just be needed just to uh, <coughs> cut out those um, those little rads. Uh, so now that we've got that, we can do a profiling operation on there, and we'll cut down 0.25. We don't need a step down this time because the uh, uh, we just go straight down to the depth, and we'll cut around the inside of that shape. Okay, so that's created the uh, the roughing and the finishing passes uh, for that. Then we run the machine tool simulator. So 
So that's loading the, uh, the simulator now. We can set up various um, stocks and so on if we need to, but uh, if we just click simulate then we'll get the, uh, <coughs> the simulation of the, um, of the part. Okay, so this is the simulator now, so if we want to we can just run that round. If we wanted to alter the series of operations, we could uh, cut the outside operation and then paste it in as a uh, at a later date, and then it would alter the uh, machining. Okay, so if we wanted to, then we can view the complete machine tool rather than just the. Uh, work piece ok now one thing I have noticed is that when we did the or when I did the finishing operation on the inside I didn't change to a smaller tool so I'll just go back and do that now so we just come out of there and then this profiling operation I need to use that smaller tool which uh, which I defined. Okay, so that automatically recalculates the path. So now we can just go straight into the simulator again. <coughs> and rather than watching the whole simulation, if we go into stock mode we can just fast forward and see the result of that operation. Okay. Now if we needed to again we could use different uh, strategy to use a slightly bigger tool and then we would get rid of those little slithers there but they'll be uh, they'll fall off anyway. Okay so that's how we uh, define create the geometry and machine that part and that was using the uh, 3D functions uh, using the solids and the geometry constructions within 3D CAD.